Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. For all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea or lovelytea.net. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for the video. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So before I get into the story, if you guys are not subscribed to Lovely News Network, make sure you guys subscribe. I have new news stories over there. Make sure you guys check them out. I have new stories coming today. So anyways, I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Tamar Braxton situation, okay? So what's going down is this. Once again, Miss Tamar is being hella messy. Um, Monica, the singer, as we all know, she's back on reality television. She's doing a reality TV show with Tiny and T.I. and Toya Wright. They all have the family hustle and friends. And I caught the episode last night. Um, I still cannot stand Mushmouth T.I. and his narcissism and how he's trying to turn everything around on Tiny. I done said what I had to say. And I done said what I had to say. Let's just say our living arrangements have adjusted somewhat. Oh. But... I will say I do enjoy the other couples on the show. I'm getting to know Latoya Moy and her husband. Um, Toya's on there and you see her whole conflict with Regine. Um, Regine is now deciding to pursue acting instead of a good college education that's being paid for by her <coughs> rich father. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, I'm really enjoying the show and I'm really liking to see Monica's dynamic with her kids and everything else. So it's funny that now that you know the show's on the air and everybody's tuning in, Monica had posted a picture um, of her and Snoop Dogg's wife and Snoop Dogg's daughter. And then she also posted a picture of her with Snoop Dogg's son. Um, basically, you know, they were just praising Monica and telling Monica happy birthday because her beautiful self just turned 38. That is my girl. I've been a Monica fan from day one. She's one of the sweetest celebrities you can ever meet. Very down to earth, very real. Um, so she's celebrating her birthday. People are sending her birthday messages. And then all of a sudden, messy, miserable Tamar decided to get into the comment section and she wrote this underneath the picture. So underneath the picture, after Boss Lady says, happy birthday to my day one, my BFF at Monica Brown. Happy birthday, Monica, hashtag BFF. So Tamar comes on there and she says, she don't like me, instead of saying she doesn't like me, but okay. She don't like me for whatever, but I love her and her movement. Strong chicks unite. First of all, Tamar, um, let me go ahead and refresh your memory since you seem to be confused as to why Monica is not fooling with you. Let's go ahead and play that damn flashback for Tamar Braxton. Go ahead and enjoy this flashback, sis, and I'll be back with the rest of my damn commentary. And Tamar and her were cool. They were cool because of Tiny. And basically what went down is that, as we all know, Tamar was fired from The Real. Um, last, at the end of last season, she was fired from The Real. And so once the new season of The Real came back this past September, Monica came on the show, then the next day Toya Wright was on the show. And then shortly after that, within 24 hours, Tamar Braxton unfollowed Monica Brown, okay, and Toya Wright. So when people caught that out, they're like, you know, why would you unfollow them? That's some shady shit. She must only did it because they were on The Real. So Toya found out about it, you know, she was kind of upset, but she figured, you know, they're not really that close of friends, so it really doesn't matter. Honey. All right, I know y'all just seen that flashback. See, I'm like an elephant. I don't forget shit, okay? So while you're sitting here trying to play crazy and say you don't understand why Monica's not rocking with you and why she don't like you, maybe the fact that you got in your damn feelings after Monica and Toya took their asses to the real to promote their projects as they should have done, okay? Um, being that you're not cutting them a check, you're not securing their bag, so why shouldn't they promote stuff that they're doing on their own behalf? Once Monica and Toya went onto the show, you got in your feelings, you became an immature brat, and you decide to unfollow both of these women that you had considered your friends. So the reason why Monica don't like you, girl, is because of that reason. The reason why Monica don't fool with you is because of that reason. So in the event that you forgot Tamar, I'm here to, you know what I'm saying, refresh your damn memory. Tamar Braxton needs to grow up. A simple, strong chicks unite. I love her. That's my girl. That would have sufficed. But the fact that you had to write all that extra shit time out, you don't know. You know, she don't like me for whatever. You did that to throw shade. You did that to be messy. And you did that once again to cover attention from Monica, from Boss Lady, and bring the attention onto yourself because right now you're not truly happy with your situation. You got a new man, but you're still dealing with a lot of bullshit. And I just, you know, 
Tamar, you know, I like her, but sometimes she just rubs me the wrong way with the stuff that she does. You know, this is a woman in her 40s, and she's still running around here, you know, throwing shade and just being messy as if she's 15 years old. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Tamar Braxton, acting like she has no idea on God's green earth why Monica ain't fooling with her right now. <laughs> okay sis anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.